Hi, in today's video I want to show you how we can map memory space in a UIO driver so it's available for your user space application in the next step. And when I'm scanning my PCI bus here, you can see this device, which is the Quancom PCI TTL32IO card. And I want to write a UIO driver for this card. So let's see which memory spaces this PCI device has available. Therefore, I will run LSPCI specifying the device I'm interested in with its bus slot and function number and the minus V tag for verbos mode. And here I can see this device has one interrupt, which we won't use today. I will show you this in the next video, how to use interrupts with UAO. But this device also has one PCI bar with the size of 256 bytes, which is 32-bit memory non-prefetchable. And by accessing this bar here, we can control yeah, the IOs of this card and for example, read in the state of the button and turn on the LEDs here. And this is what I want to show you in today's video. Okay, so here once again is the manual of this card. Sadly, this card is no longer manufactured, but down here we see the hardware registers. So in this bar, at an offset of F8, we have the register for setting up the direction of the TTLIO groups. So the 32 bit of total available inputs and outputs are divided into four groups of eight IOs. And when I'm setting bit zero of um, offset F8 in bar zero, I can set the direction of TTLIO pin one to eight. If I'm writing a zero here, the pins will be inputs. If I'm writing a one, to it the pins will be output and in at offset FC I have the data register for GTLIO 1 to 8 so if this group is configured as inputs I can read in the input state here if it's configured as output I can write out the values I want to and that's basically how this works okay so in PCI TTL32 IO UIO are the sources for my drivers and now let me open up the sources for my driver. So this is the hello world UIO driver and here I have to add some things in order to memory map the memory behind bar zero to a user space program through this UIO driver. So basically here in this struct UIO info there is an array of five memory entries and each of these memory entries will be mapped to user space if it's configured properly. So let me show you how to configure it. And I will do the configuring before registering the UIO device. Uh, or let's set up memory entry for bar zero. So here at the at this UIO infrastructure, I have a field called mem, and this is an array of five elements. As I only want to map a single bar, I will only use the first entry here. And this every memory entry has a name or has a name field, which I can initialize with a string. For example, PCI TTL32 IO bar zero, because that's the memory I will I'm going to map. Then the next yeah, then I will need two helper variables from the type resource size t. First one I will call start, and then I will use the PCI resource start function to get the start address of bar zero of my PCI device pdef, in which probe function I am here. And then I will also need a second length variable in which I will store the length of bar zero of my P device. Okay, so here I have an address field in which I have to store the physical address of my memory and this physical and the thing is later we will use memory map to actually get access to the memory and when using memory map we can only have page aligned addresses or 
um, map page aligned memory. Therefore, I have to take the start address and end it with page mask in order to get a page aligned address. But of course, when I'm clearing some bits here, I have to use an offset in the stuff I will get from memory map. And the way I'm calculating the offset is by um, ending the address with the inverted page mask. Okay, the next um, field is the size, or is the size, yes, the size of the mapping. And of course, this has to be page aligned. So the way I can calculate this address is by taking the offset again. Mm -hmm. Adding the length of the bar adding page size minus one and then ending this with the page mask here. And then the next thing I have to set up, I have to specify the type of memory I want to memory map. And here this is physical memory, so I will use the UIO memphis macro here. So the next field is the internal address and here I will call the PCI IO remap bar function to remap the IO behind bar zero of my PCI device. And then of course I have to check if this here is a null pointer because if so, there is nothing to IO remap here. And in this case, I will print out a device error with my device pdef dev and error no memory behind bar zero will be the error message and then I will go to free region and of course like before that I have to set the status to error no device okay Good. And I need to add one more label here. I will call it free mem because in case this UIO register device fails, in this case I have to call um, the IO unmap function to basically just um, unmap this pointer here. Yeah, that's, that should be it. And here I have to change it to free mem okay and of course the unmapping i also have to do here in the um, remove function okay so that should be it for the driver let me try to compile it and let's see how much mistakes i've made okay this is looking good cool so now we have a compiled driver next thing we need is we have to write the user space application which will access um, the mapped yeah, devices. But before doing so, maybe I should load the driver and show you how this looks like. Ah, yes, for this I will start Tmux to have two windows here. Here I have the kernel lock. And here I will load the driver. Okay, now the driver is loaded and under dev we can see now the file UIO0. This is a file we will have to memory map to get access to it. And if we want to get some information about which um, memory entries are available, what's the size, what's the name and so on and so forth. Let's go to this class UIO, UIO0. And in here we now have a maps folder which contains all the memory entries. And here we just have one memory entry behind map0. And if we take a look at it, we can see these files are in there. And if we read all the files, uh, yeah, cat map zero. OK, 
Okay, then let's do it this way. Dress offset size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, ah, okay, I got the error now. <laughs> Sorry for that. Sometimes my bash skills. <laughs> yeah come to their limit. So the last file here is a length, which is one page. This is the offset, this is the name, this is the address. Okay, cool. Now let's try to write a user space application for this. And I've already prepared a little bit here. I've called this user space application uiomemaccess.c. And if we take a look at it, up here we can see sta some standard C headers for Linux. Here, the sysmman.h, we need to have memory map available. Here, I have a function which will read in from a file with the name file name, and it will open the file, read it, and then convert the red string to a long value. And I need this function to be able to read in the offset and the size of my UIO device. Down here I'm printing out the offset and the length of um, the mapping and that's currently it. And what I have to include here is I have to include the function for the memory map. So the first thing I will do is I will open my dev UIO zero file and I will open it with read and write permissions and as it's a memory with the osync flag too. Then let's check if the opening of the file worked. If not, I will print out an error here and then I will return with one from my program. Okay, so up here you can see I have created a void pointer with the name bar zero and this is what I will need for, um, yeah, accessing the bar or yeah you know, so this pointer will point to the memory mapped memory so let's call the mmap function the first argument would be an address offset in it but as i won't need it i will set it to null the next argument is the amount of bytes i want to memory map and this is stored in this len variable here then I need to specify the flags with which I want to, how I want to access the memory. So I want to read it and I want to write it. Map shared says, I don't want to have a copy from the memory. I want an actual pointer to this memory. The next argument is a file descriptor. And the last argument is the offset within um, yeah, the device. And here I'm writing zero times one page. And this will give us map zero. But if you would have more maps available, um, and if I want to have map two, for example, then I would write here an offset of two times page size, and this would give me access to map two. So I always have to open the same file, but with this offset, I can tell the program which mapping I'm interested in, basically. Okay, so next thing is I have to check if the mapping worked by comparing my pointer to map failed. And in case it failed, let's print out an error message. And let's close our file descriptor and let's return a one here. Okay, when I'm done with the memory, I have to release it or unmap it with the mUnmap function, which needs the um, yeah, pointer and the length. And at the end, I can close my file descriptor. And now over this pointer bar zero, I can actually access my memory. Um, I oh dear. So let me specify two offsets. So the first offset is F8, which is the direction register. And the second offset is FC, which is the data register for IO128, which I want to control. Okay. And now the way I can access the pointer is, 
Well, I have a pointer. I just have to access it. Therefore, I'm casting it to an uint 8 um, t, so an 8-bit pointer unsigned. Then I will specify my pointer plus the desired offset, which is IO data rack. And that's basically it. So here I'm reading out the data register and I can see if um, one of my buttons here is pressed. And then let's toggle the LEDs a little bit. So for toggling the LEDs, they are wired in a way that if I just set the data direction to output, they all of these three LEDs should light up. I O dear direction register and I will set this to one so this will set bit one to eight to inputs then I will wait until I press enter and then I will set all the pins to output again okay and that should be how to access this stuff okay so let me try to build this application which worked and now let's test it so I will press some buttons here while doing so. Ah, I forgot one extremely important thing, sorry for that. Mm -hmm. I haven't used the offset yet. And the thing is, why this didn't work is basically before accessing the pointer, I have to add the offset here. So now basically it should work. So once again, let me press two buttons. Yeah, and now you can see this is the value I've read. Now you can see the LEDs here are on. And if I'm pressing enter, so get your terminates, the LEDs will be turned off again. Cool. So that's how to write a UAO driver, which memory maps specific memory to a user space application. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.